Master your destiny on 99FM. Welcome to the MID Studios, Min Elago. What a pleasure it is to have you with us in the studio because we've been following your journey and it is such an inspirational story. Let's hear about it. Let's hear what it is that led you to compete in an international competition to test your abilities. I guess let's just go back to 2013. On the 1st of September, um, I stepped onto the scale at home and I saw a number that... I never expected to see. I was in the triple digits, so I weighed 100 kilos. I didn't blame anyone, even what I did see, because th that number was always creeping up on me and it was all my actions and inaction <laughs> as well. But um, yeah, the onus rests 100% on me. So I decided just to take ch charge that very day and to take back control. I wasn't looking for quick fixes because I think in the past I, I had yo-yoed my whole life has been consumed by my weight. Like I remember since the third, since the age of 13, I've always been battling with it. I'm a recovering food addict and an emotional eater. I just turned to food because food has this way of just giving you that instant gratification and not delayed and yeah. That's yeah. True. And I think it's a problem that many people have is we, we seek food to try and feel better about ourselves yeah. and then we feel worse about ourselves in the end. It is because <laughs> the things that actually do make me feel better about myself are, you know, when I'm working out and exercising and taking care of my mental health and um, and just and eating the foods that are actually really really good for me but all of that is so delayed in you know when eating a salad right now doesn't feel but like eating a burger it almost feels like a like a hug immediately even though the next day I'll feel bloated and upset and yeah, yeah. yeah. so starting off with small steps yes <laughs> What did you start with and I where just, did you go to? <laughs> I just did two things. Um, I just cut out sugar the first month and I started walking for 45 minutes. I actually started like uh, documenting that on Facebook and I called it the Mountain Diaries. So there's this mountain just behind the State House in Ausblick. So I would walk up and down that and the first time I went I couldn't even make it halfway up like I couldn't breathe and I was out of breath and yeah it was <laughs> it was quite tragic but um, after that I was able to to finish it and yeah and it progressed and progressed and then it went yes. from walking into something else tell us about that yes <laughs> <laughs> so after I'd lost quite a bit of weight um, I decided that I really just wanted to push myself like a whole lot more and just challenge myself so I start I decided to start running but this was towards the end of last year so running is such a different animal. I think it is the truest test of, of mental toughness. Everything in you at the beginning goes against, like nothing in you wants to do it. Yeah. And it's really hard and you're fighting gravity and you're fighting your mind and you're fighting your body. I thought like eventually like let me work towards something. So I decided to start training for Two Oceans last year. And then you ran the Two Oceans And then year. I ran the Two Oceans this the year. The half marathon. Yes, the half. Just the half for now. <laughs> Which is quite an achievement. <laughs> yes. I mean, I went through a similar journey where I also went through a difficult time and I, I started running as well. I was introduced to it. And exactly as you said, it is such a mental challenge. you It's almost like you have to break down walls in yes. your own head. Yes. But then when you do break them down, that sense of accomplishment is yes. incredible. I mean, this has been a difficult year for many people. Yes. What would your advice be for anybody listening that's looking to ignite the fire inside themselves yet again once again I think the greatest lessons that I've learned have come through running so I think I'll just apply them here as well the first thing is that you are so much stronger than you think you are um, I, and I, do, I just don't think people realize just how strong the human spirit is and what it takes to break it I think once you know that it's so much easier to hold on and um, I think the second thing is sometimes it just boils down to putting one foot in front of the other your mental health is so important and it's really hard to break somebody who's got a really tough mind it really is and I think 2016 cannot take you down if you develop your mental strength I think as people we forget that we've survived a hundred percent of the days that we thought we wouldn't survive and the fact that we're here shows that like you know we've we've survived them in the past and we'll continue to survive them we will get through it so just just keep going just keep, keep going. running <laughs> <laughs> really good advice there. thank you so much for coming to inspire thank you for having me <laughs> anything else you'd like to share with us before we close up um i think the, the one thing that no one should ever forget is that you are so much stronger than you think you are so go out there and test it
Beautiful, yeah. just as you have done. And we have, as I said, we are inspired by your story. Thank and we you. will be cheering you on as you continue on this journey. Thank You're you an inspiration so much. To, us all to take back the power that we already have yes. in our own lives. Yes. Thank you. Have Thank you, Kirsty. It's been great having you in the studio. It's been great being here. Awesome. Cool. Master your destiny on 99FM.